Hey guys, welcome to this special edition of Crystal Cave TV of our Traveling in Style series. I am so excited because if you haven't joined us before for one of these special edition series, these are really just impromptu videos that I'm doing on the road while I'm traveling. This summer I'm traveling in Europe, so I felt like there was no better time than now to start these videos. So I'm so excited because in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a big thing that happened to me last month in Florence. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Crystal Cave, celebrity wardrobe stylist, and I am the creator of Style Icon Academy and the founder of exocrystalcave.com. Now, if you don't know, I have spent this past month in Florence, which has been completely amazing. I went there for design school and Honestly, I feel so much more inspired than ever to really do what I'm doing in the world. But the biggest thing I didn't expect to happen was that I sweated my butt off everywhere. I was walking everywhere. It was nearly 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It was so freaking hot. So this episode of Crystal Cave TV is inspired by just that. How can you be comfortable and stay cool and calm and collected, I guess, all at the same time? While you're out living your life, whether you're traveling or you just live live anywhere, especially in the summer. So I'm going to give you a few tips that I have learned for both my style and nourishing myself along the way that have taken me so far. Okay, so the first thing was really just starting from my feet up. And I mean, I love a cute pair of you know, sandals, and I have so many, but what I found was really important was that since I was walking a lot, I wore these amazing Cole Hans, which are probably kind of dirty. I hope you can't totally see that. <laughs> um, I've worn them so much, obviously, and I was walking so much. I was walking hours, hours in 100 degrees <laughs> every day. It really made me miss my car, I have to say, but you know, the really important thing that came from this was me making sure that I was supporting myself literally from my feet all the way up. So that was the first thing I did. And these Cole Hans are so amazing. So whether you are like a chic Florentinian and rocking flats or sneakers with a dress, really make sure your shoes are supporting you. The second thing was to just be natural. And by being natural, I don't mean just like being me every day. Of course I encourage that, but it's more letting my hair do what it's supposed to do or wants to do. My hair is somewhat of a fro sometimes, and I really just let my hair do its thing. And I would let it just curl and really just be its actual, I'm part Italian, so it's Italian curly self. And when I needed to, I needed a little bit of a relief. I would just throw it in like a cute little top knot like I have now or do a little braid in the front and put it back in the ponytail. There's so many fun things you can do. So that's the second thing I did to really just help myself feel more comfortable, especially with this big transition. The third thing was lightening my load. So what do you mean? Um, it actually, I am a big bag girl. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm like New Yorker at heart, but I carry so much crap in my bag. So amazing thing just from traveling is a crossbody and a cute one at that. This one I actually took from my mother because she was getting rid of it. So thank you, mom. Um, I'm so glad you put it in the garage sale and I took it. <laughs> This has been a saving grace over the last month. I'm gonna put some links for some cute crossbodies that you can get and find one that matches your personal style and personality. And I love that this is metallic because it's still neutral and it allowed me to just put my essentials in here. So I just, you know, took things out of my heavy wallet and just put, you know, some change, um, cash and my credit cards in here with my cell phone. And then for the bigger things, like I had to bring a lot of stuff to class. So what I ended up doing is I put my sketchbook, my um, watercolors and colored pencils and all the things I needed in this amazing Zara bag. And because they were having some great sales in Europe, they always have amazing sales, especially in summer. I got this for 20 euros, which is you know, 20 something bucks. So it was a really great deal. And it was honestly one of the best investments I made. And 
instead of having the stuff pulling me from side to side as I was walking so much, it was so amazing to just have everything on my back. And then the fourth thing that I did to lighten it up was my accessories. As you can see, I am not wearing what is traditionally like my go-to, which is big statement necklaces. It's totally been my thing for years now, but what I've been doing in the last so many months actually leading up to this was I have been getting some amazing monthly boxes from Lux30. And I'm so blessed to know Marnelli, who is the founder of Lux30, but even more, I am blessed to know about Lux30 because their jewelry from the two months leading up to my trip are the only things I have worn this entire six weeks. The stuff is amazing. It's, you know, for me, most of this is like neutral, but it has a little glam edge. So it feels totally me. It's like I picked out everything myself. And it, to me, it's such a rarity, especially being in the field I am, to be able to go and open up this amazing box and be like, oh my God, it's like if my other, like, part of me was there picking them all myself and so thank you Lux30 for helping me lighten my load in a very stylish way. So it's been really great to um, even expand my own boundaries in accessories and at the same time just feel lighter and have less things on me because imagine me going around Florence with like a heavy statement necklace I would have died. <laughs> so the last thing is really about nourishing yourself from the inside out. I think this last month in Italy has totally taught me all about really putting myself first, truly. And one of the biggest thing is how we nourish ourselves from the inside out. So for me, I feel so blessed that I happened upon this place called Hashtag Raw Vegan and they had coconuts there and I would literally just drink a coconut almost every day. It was one of the most hydrating things. Coconut water is so amazing, especially if you're sweating a lot. Um, and if you're not into coconut water, that's totally fine. You can always just put a cute water bottle in your backpack <laughs> and get water when you need it. But for me, it was really important to make sure I was consistently hydrating myself. So I made sure I always had water with me, that I was always nourishing myself. So if I had an unexpected, which this happened a number of times, days where I ended up walking for over an hour just to get home because I got lost or whatever, um, it was really amazing to have water to hydrate myself or have had the coconut water previously that was like preconditioning me so I felt super nourished and wasn't completely feeling knocked on my butt at the end of the day. So those were some of my tips of how you can stay comfortable even when it's crazy hot outside. So I hope my experience in Italy is able to help you in your everyday life whether you are traveling or not. And I would, of course, love to hear from you guys. What are there some things you've done to lighten your load? Have you done a backpack or have you lightened up your accessories in some ways or played with your hair? I'd love to hear. Write a comment below. Let me know what you've done. I'd love to hear what you're doing. And I will see you guys next time on Crystal Cave TV. And just remember to be yourself in this world the biggest thing we can do for this world and for ourselves in this lifetime is truly allowing ourselves to be the true you. So I will say this once, I'll say it a million times, great style has no size and this last month that style school, design school, has taught me so much about how that is so true. So I will see you guys next time on Crystal Cave TV and thank you for joining me for this special edition, Traveling in Style, Florence. Bye.